Hello, I'd like to introduce you to a new feature of Power SDR version 2.2 from Flex Radio Systems, our new RF tracking notch filters. This is a new feature that allows us to eliminate station interference such as foreign broadcast carriers and local shack QRM with just a few mouse clicks. It'd probably be best for me to just show you how it works. You'll immediately notice two new buttons on the screen of Power SDR in the middle. TNF, which stands for Tracking Notch Filter, which allows you to enable or disable the feature, and the plus TNF button, which allows you to add a manual tracking notch filter. I could describe the process to you, but I think it's probably easier just to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up some it, uh, signal here that we can listen to, and you'll notice a signal here in the background. Now it's particularly nasty. And I picked this one on purpose to demonstrate how effective the tracking notch filter could be. First, let's do what we normally do with Flex Radio and Power SDR. Let's zoom in on that signal that we're wanting to see. So we zoom in first, and now we can see it. We can hear somebody in the background there, but it's very difficult to hear. Now, I just so happen to know that this is Delta 44 Alpha Charlie Pulu out on Sal Vicente Island. So let's see what tracking notch filter can do to help us pull this up. You'll notice that there's a large carrier in our passband that we'd like to eliminate. Normal automatic notch filters won't handle multiple carriers like this. And while we could take the uh, filters and take them out completely, the audio just doesn't sound right. So let's go back, go back to full bandwidth audio, and let's click the TNF button and let's add a tracking notch. Then let's move over on top of that carrier that we see. And you'll notice immediately an improvement. If we click again and hold, it'll zoom in using the new zoom tune mode and we can center over the top of that notch. We can also pull the mouse down and make the notch narrower or push the no mouse up, all while holding the left mouse button to adjust the width of the notch. In this case, this is a fairly strong but narrow carrier, so I'm going to make it as narrow as I can. And I still hear a lot of interference. So now what I'm going to do is click the right button, mouse button, and I'm going to make this notch deeper. So it adds a doubling feature. And that did help some. So for now, let's just wait there and add another notch. And let's see if we can't start to take care of some of this noise that we're hearing. So we might as well add a few more. Let's add a second notch. We've got a particularly nasty carrier right here. And here's another one. You might be asking yourself by now, well, how many can I add? So you can have an infinite number of TNFs on, in your system, but you can have up to 18 active notches in, in the active audio passband, which is this gray area here at any one time. So let's see here. We've got one more maybe that we can get rid of and do a little bit better noise. Oh, yeah, that helped a little bit there, too. Every time I add a tracking notch or two, you can tell that it's better. So if I want to adjust this one, I simply click, hold, get the zoom, pull the mouse up and down, center it over, and I use a combination of visual and audio cues to try to get it as balanced as I could. Go back to this this big guy. Let's try him, oh yeah, with very deep, and that made a big difference. So now let's see what the difference is with and out. This is with on, and here is with the notch filter system turned off again. Hear the noise difference? Back on, and back off. It's obvious. I don't know about you, but I definitely want to listen to it with the TNF filter enabled. Now one thing you can do if you've decided that you like where the notches are is that you can take your mouse and hover over a notch, do a right click, and say remember. And you'll notice it turns color to a dark green. We can go through here and remember all of these. Say this is a frequency that we always have interference like I do at my house. So now I've covered them up. And, and if I tune away or tune back, those notches will always be there, and they're saved even when I turn Power SDR off. So that's tracking notch filters. Now you hear it, and now you don't. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the new TNF feature from Power SDR and Flex Radio Systems. Thank you, good night. Delta 4, 4 Alpha Top, you're